self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience no matter how born again you are if you don't tithe your heavens are closed that for sure whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding seeing then that these realities are true what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them I'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free ready Psalms 102 verse 13 is a mystery very few people understand please give us Psalms 102 verse 13 read it if you're a child of God one two read three things mercy time favor mercy time favor thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her even the set time the kairos moment the opportune time is come because of that arise and have mercy let me tell you something about the mercy of god the mercy of god is not an attribute for sinners the salvation of sinners only pass through the mystery of mercy but mercy is more than more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation you have to understand this the mercy of god is part of the attributes of his person the mercy of god is a system a system in the kingdom where guilty people are made free the mercy of god is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against god god gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time God would want to come in, he will remind him. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Bible tells us that the Lord's mercy can triumph. Come on now. That the Lord's mercy can triumph over judgment. So when I get to the end of my road 
I know that I am deserving of everything should happen that should happen yes my father sacrificed to idols yes my carelessness I am not a tighter I am qualified for financial bankruptcy the last card I danced it did not work I prayed it did not work the attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of God you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah samson lost his strength to delilah the bible says his eyes were plucked the symbol of light in his life and the mystery that surrounded his power his hair shoven completely and they took him the bible says they took him to their temple to make mockery of god everything was over but that samson leaned there they didn't watch the hair grow he said oh lord he cried for mercy and the moment he did that see there is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered, try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord, I know I am undeserving of this. But I invoke your mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Listen it is of the lord's mercy meaning my lifetime is too fast for me to not have made a mistake but it is of the lord's mercy somewhere in my work he creates a system a provision see let me tell you it is on grounds of this that the bible can say rejoice not over me my enemies for when you think ah there was a time his car now had an accident will he ever rise again don't the worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy you are finished mercy and Samson pushed and the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime what of blind Bartimaeus thou son of David hold on he never said heal me the Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart I thought it would be thou son of David heal me he said thou son of David have mercy mercy is an open check and God had to come he left and came thou son of David there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you two condemned criminals one was talking nonsense like many people are still doing their quarter to finish in life and they are still making noise and the other one provoked his mercy and he said this day today not tomorrow today you will be with me in paradise are we together listen the mercy of god is an attribute you need in your life it's not for sinners the mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations. There is such a thing as limitation. If I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting, I will be lying. No. I have mastered the art of God's mercy. Years ago, during a pastor's, a pastor's conference, the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy Jesus met a woman by the well when he met that woman by the well 
they started a conversation number one that woman was a prostitute correct and then because of that more the disciples oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt jesus you're a bad woman and jesus started talking with her and she started touching his mercy and at the end of it that woman ran and said come and see the man who has told me what i have done mercy mercy vetoes everything in your life and when the door settles you are still standing that's why you see those who know this when people are dancing and saying the power of my might has given me this oh this great ministry koinonia apostle what wisdom you are such an anointed man i just laugh and look at them you need to hear my prayer in the secret place the mercy of god when david one day the bible says when kings go for war david was meandering his balcony correct and he looked at somebody's wife she was baffing and from the altitude he could see her nakedness and he desired her the bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came he now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call uriah in the heat of war not minding whether the nation of israel would die they carried uriah and brought uriah uriah said my king i'm here he says i just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently yes, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of israel i should be there in the heat of battle and he got angry and all he did listen was to write a letter a man's own death sentence and gave him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question what was the difference between cain and david Cain killed Abel. Blood started crying. Meaning when David killed Uriah, blood should be crying. Correct? David went, wept, 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 wept. When all of that happened, you would think that after the, the child died, he will now tell the wife, he said, okay, go, I will marry you again. Who was the mother of Solomon? <laughs> he did it again. Correct? is david that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song if it had not been the lord by my side now may israel say if it had not been the lord he will ask the nation of israel to chorus for his mercy shall endure ever faithful ever sure and they will begin to sing it god want to destroy david david would just find he knew how to just tie god down God said this is a man after my own heart a man that understand not even Moses was called a man after his heart mercy this is what our families need this is what we need this is what many ministries need this is what many businesses need let me tell you something we're rounding up there is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy number one a broken and a contrite heart write it down arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of god's mercy for as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving you will never have it great is your mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercy i see day after day forever faithful
mercy every time we apply the blood we invoke his mercy for you to sit down and believe your forefathers did not do anything you are a joker but the mercy of God has a way of exempting you the mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot the mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life regardless of what was seen about you a particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and David said who is that was angry say you are the one who watch this do you know David was supposed to die we have a series on mercy that will deal with I don't want to go there but do you know when you read that scripture when David asked for mercy God said that death had been taken from him David would have died David would have died the wages of sin is not sickness the wages of sin is death but mercy but mercy but mercy there are some of you here legally you are supposed to be failures in life so based on that concoction those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God the mercy of God the mercy of God over your life invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make a I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you 